bathroom restoration. Ripped all the old stuff out, which I had video of until my phone got deleted. <laughs> so I'm just gonna show you what's going on. It was a bathroom, just plain white. Uh, there was a little wall here, ripped that out. Um, all the old white cheap square tiles that you, cheap kind you can buy. Ripped all those out. Um, the floor wasn't leveled over here. Used about a five gallon bucket of mortar under there to, to bring up my backer boards and the dip. Um, cutting out some holes in the um, in the drywall. We're gonna make two shelves. I went 11 inches high. You can see how I uh, mark them out. I'm gonna cut those out so we'll be able to put like that stuff over there in the wall. I'm gonna try to do the same here in the shower. Um, gonna retile everything, make it all upgraded. So. The hole cut out in the wall and one of them, two by fours laid all the way around. Wiring going through the wall. Got that piece um, of drywall put up and I also decided to go with backer board underneath the shower pan, just in case in the future. Um, the person who built this house 10 years ago had some linkage there, so I seen a little bit of corrosion uh, into the wood, mold or whatever you wanna call it. So. I don't want that same mistake to happen. Sanding over here, getting the wall flat to how we want it. Shower pan liner base built around that added shirt switch, which was a lot of work. There's a hidden transformer inside of here. Wires running all the way down and around under the drywall going up into the shelving that we've made and the switch ignites the LED lights. So that's gonna be really cool and we're gonna keep them going through the wire in the wall the way through and you get the idea there'll be one more shelf in there and those lights will work. Lots of putting and sanding over here. Almost got it to the smoothest layer. Got two layers over there on the shelves. You can see they're coming along. Also extending the uh, wall. You see that little corner extending it out because the new shower is going to be 48 inches this way where it used to be only 36. Two by four support behind there and slapped a piece of drywall. Fifth layer of sanding over here. I wish you'd hurry up and get done. <laughs> uh, we're moving the shower head from this area to that area. Got most of it done and just need one more elbow there. Got the wall extended. Also, don't forget to put in support beams if you're doing it yourself. Where your shower glass door is going to be screwed into the wall. That's what those two bars are right there. All my PVC pipes and installed the three-piece drain flange in place. Almost ready to start putting in my shower pan and I realized that my floor wasn't leveled so I put two 50 pound bags of self-leveling underlayment on here so got the floor all leveled now we're gonna start the shower curb all built up two by fours liquid nails and mounted got my pre-pitched sticks inserted with my lathe ready to throw mortar in for my pre-slope my sand topping mix and I got my pre-slope all leveled and ready for the shower pan liner. Mortar put in my shower pan, shower curb cut out, backer board all the way around and we're ready. Most of the shower walls up except for this section right here and cut the hole out and we got the niche cut out. Also installed the new cartridge for the new shower faucet. Took out the old, old light fixture that was mounted on the wall and installed three light pendants and wired them in through the attic and tapped in in the center of the wall. Patching out the fiberglass mesh tape put in on all the cracks and lines. Also all the backer board put in on the niche and the LED lights installed. The modified white thin set mortar to butter up my curb all the cracks, joints, and all the little holes in my night. Red Guard waterproofing membrane, three coats on my shower walls, and we're about ready for tiling. Two by two inch tile stuck with mortar to the floor. My slope is great, water will drain perfectly. Um, also a two by two inch tile stuck on the back of my niche, and I've added a strip of drywall for my edge. Day one of shower tiling, took about four hours. A little bit more to go.
replumbing the hot and cold water into the wall, also the drain pipe hiding it into the wall so we could put in a wall mounted vanity. Day one, floor tile. Day two, floor tile. bathroom painted white how I want it put all the floor trim in and caulked three hanging pendant lights installed the toilet fully installed also some shelving put up on the wall cut and mortared all the tiles in the shower pan also, the entire shower pan is now mounted with the Schluter trim. Shower is grouted, shower faucet handle, and shower head installed. bathroom fully complete. I have finished um, caulking all the walls. Really thick piece of glass that had to be on both sides. The shelf is full of fresh cologne. Just kidding. <laughs> but uh, everything's all clean. I just have to like vacuum up the little specks or whatnot. So don't mind that stuff. But just showing off the end of the job, end of the work. So um, got the curtain all cleaned up. That was really dusty, so um, that's about it. So we got a nice little bench over here. Picked this up for about $150 on, I think it was Wayfair.com. Uh, don't quote me, but I looked up um, bench storage. And you'll see all kinds of these. This one's a microfiber black. If you're looking for something specific like that, just plain modern design. Um, sink is done, of course. Had to caulk all around that. Did get a little bit of cracking. So if you get a little bit of cracking, I'll try to zoom in. You're just gonna put that, I could have used white caulk, but it's not something you're ever gonna notice. So um, that's about it. So that's the end of the video. And it's hard for me to take a picture of the entire thing. So that's why I'm just gonna keep zooming all the way around. So enjoy the show. That's it. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up.